Hello everyone. Let's see if we can get set up for our toddler story time today. I'm Miss Kathy here at Sturgis Public Library and today is Wednesday, March 17th. It is toddler story time day. Let me take a look at the clock. Yep, it's 10 o'clock for it. So it's time for us to start. Let's start with our um, hello song for toddlers. Can you do it with me? Now, before I start that, I decided to wear my mask today because can you see, I'll get a little closer. Can you see what's on my mask? There's lots of little green shamrocks on there. It's for today's celebration and story time. But let's start with our hello song. Here we go. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Welcome to Storytime and happy St. Patrick's Day. This is March 17th. Oh, we'll see how this goes. I'm so used to my shield now. I, I'm afraid my mask is going to fall down over my nose. Okay. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Did you know today was St. Patrick's Day? It is a celebration, a time to celebrate Irish things. People who are Irish have St. Patrick, one of their patron saints. And for St. Patrick's Day, it doesn't matter if you're not Irish, you can still celebrate. I'm not Irish, but I can still celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Oh, this is not going to be good. I can celebrate St. Patrick's Day. One thing everybody can do is wear something green. Are you wearing anything green today? I have on my mask. And can you tell I have a little shamrock, a green shamrock pin on my shirt? Another thing I noticed that I know you aren't going to be able to see, but on my shirt, we go from yellow, we go from blue to yellow. And if you mix blue and yellow, it makes green. There's a little bit of green in my shirt. Okay. If you are not wearing any green today, you might get pinched. Somebody might come up and give you a little pinch and say, where's your green? I don't see any green on you. You don't want to get pinched. That hurts. Now, the tradition of get, bidding, getting pinched on St. Patrick's Day, if you're not wearing green, is not an Irish tradition. It is totally, entirely an American tradition. It was Americans that decided to do the tradition of pinching if you're not wearing green. St. Patrick's Day revelers, people celebrating St. Patrick's Day would say, that the tiny little leprechaun, that little fairy creature, would pinch anyone they did not see, or would pinch anyone they could see. And they could see you if you were not wearing it, if you, yeah, if you were not wearing any green, they would see you. So you wanted to make sure you were wearing green. And people decided to start pinching other people for not wearing green, just as a reminder that that little leprechaun will come up and give you a pinch. You know what? I'm not gonna fight this the whole time. I'm gonna take it off. I'm the only one here in the room. It's okay, I'll take it off today. But I still have my green. I will be wearing it all day. Okay, we're gonna start our green St. Patrick's Day story time with the sign language for the word green. And it says, when I looked up the baby flashcards that I've been using, it says you put your hand into a fist, you extend your index finger and your thumb, <laughs> my poor short thumb, you extend them, you put it up shoulder length, and you shake it. And this is how you say green in, in sign language. Green. Fist index finger, thumb, green. Now it said it's like doing the letter G in American Sign Language. Well, I couldn't remember how you do all the letters in American Sign Language, so I had to get a book and look. And if you wanted to know how to do all those different letters of the alphabet in sign language, we have this book here at the library, The Handmade Alphabet, and it shows the letter G. And there you see the index finger, the thumb, every what all the other fingers are into a fist. So to make the letter G in American Sign Language, 
It's putting those together. That's the letter G. We just have them separated so we can go like this to do green. Okay, now that we know how to say the word green in sign language, green, did you try it with me? Green. We're going to sing a song about the color green. And do you know how to spell the word green? It looks like this. G R E E N. That spells green and I even wrote it in a marker that was the color green. Our song is about the color green and I know I'm going to want to sing it like the bingo song because that's what it looks like. I have all the letters up like bingo. But our tune is not for bingo. Our tune is for Old McDonald. So I have to get that tune in my head. Can you help me sing the first part of Old McDonald so I can get it stuck in my head and change the words for our song? Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had some green, E-I-E-I-O. Okay, I think I got the tune in my head. So here's how the song goes. There's a color we all know, G-R-E-E-N. It's the color that means go. I'm gonna put my stoplight up here with my green go. G-R-E-E-N. Now we're gonna come up with other things that are green. You know what this is? Grass. Grass is green. Put my grass up here. Lettuce. Oh, I should have showed you the picture first. There's a head of lettuce. Lettuce is green. I'm gonna put my lettuce down here. <gasps> what is this? It's leaves on the tree. Soon we will be getting leaves on the tree. Leaves. And here is, it's not lettuce, but it is spinach. So leaves, spinach. Can I get, oh, nope. I gotta put my spinach down here. Because here's my next one. Here's a vegetable that's green. You know what it is? Ah, it's peas. Peas are green. Let me put my peas up here. <gasps> There's a color we all know, G-R-E-E-N. Let's start the whole song all over again. Now that I have all the things up here and we won't have to stop to find out what they are, we can do the whole song. There's a color we all know, G-R-E-E-N. It's the color that means go. G-R-E-E-N, say some green. Oh, the grass is green and lettuce is green. Leaves and spinach and peas are green. There's a color we all know, G-R-E-E-N. And it spells green. There we are, green. Okay, now remember I said this is St. Patrick's Day and if you're not wearing green, Someone's gonna pinch you. Do you remember who that little fairy guy was that I said was gonna pinch you? If you are not wearing green, cause he'll see you. If you are wearing some green, he won't see you. You'll be invisible to him. But if you're not wearing green, this little guy is going to pinch you. It's a leprechaun. I have a song about a leprechaun and you notice he is wearing green. He's holding a green shamrock. So I'm gonna put my leprechaun right up here with all my other green things on the board. I don't know, it might uh, confuse us to see all that. Our next song is like, I'm a little teapot, but instead it's I'm a little leprechaun. Here's how the song goes. I'll sing it one time and then we'll come back and sing it again and you can do it with me because you'll hear the words, you'll see the actions I do. It goes like this. I'm a little leprechaun dressed in green, the tiniest man that you have ever seen. If you ever catch me, it is told, I'll give you my pot of gold. <gasps> that 
that's one of the f stories about leprechauns. They hide gold. And if you can catch one, the leprechaun has to give you his gold. <gasps> Wouldn't that be fun to get some gold? Let's see if we can do the song again. Can you sing it with me and do the actions? It goes like this. I'm a little leprechaun dressed in green, the tiniest man that you have ever seen. If you ever catch me, it's been told, I'll give you my pot of gold. <gasps> Do you have that pot of gold there? Oh, it would be fun to catch a leprechaun. I wonder if they really are true. Could you really catch a leprechaun? You'd have to set a trap and find out. And if you caught him and got all of his gold, what would you do with all that gold? Would you buy a bunch more toys? Would you go on a vacation? Would you put it in savings and save it for another day? It would be fun to think about what you would do with all that gold. Well, we are going to do another, it's not a song, it's a rhyme about something else that leprechauns have. I do have to take all of my green things off the board. So, goodbye to the green leprechaun. We'll put him there. Goodbye to the green peas. Maybe you'll eat some green peas today. You Do you think? Let's say goodbye to the green spinach. Maybe you'll have some green spinach for lunch today. Let's say goodbye to the green leaves. Soon the trees will start getting those green leaves on them. You know what? My tulips are coming up. My tulips are coming up about that far and they're green. Their little leaves are green. Say goodbye to our green lettuce. There's our head of lettuce. Some people like to eat corned beef and sauerkraut or corned beef and cabbage for St. Patrick's Day. Cabbage is like lettuce, it's green. Our green grass right now is covered up with some white snow, but soon our grass will be turning green. And if you are out and about with mom and dad or someone today, be watching those stoplights. Green means go. If it's green, you can go. If it's yellow, you better start slowing down. If it's red, stop. Green is go. And take down my word green, G-R-E-E-N. Because now, leprechauns have gold, which I think would be lucky to have, but there's also a lucky clover or a shamrock. And I have shamrocks here that I'm going to put on my board. Can I get my board a little closer? Eh, it'll be okay. We'll do it like this. We're going to put shamrocks on the board. You're going to want to count them with me. Here we go. One green shamrock in the morning dew, another one sprouted, and then there were how many shamrocks? One, two. Two green shamrocks growing beneath the tree. Another one sprouted. Here it comes. There it is. And now we have one, two, three. Three green shamrocks by the cottage door. Another one sprouted. And that makes one, two, three, four. Four green shamrocks near a beehive. Another one sprouted. And that makes one, two, three, four, five. Five green shamrocks bright, or five little shamrocks bright and emerald green. Think of all the lucky things, or think of all the luck these shamrocks will bring. <gasps> Maybe if you have some shamrocks, you will be lucky enough to find the leprechaun's gold. <gasps> Wouldn't that be a lucky day? Hello, Dimitri. I'm glad you're here today. Are you wearing any green? I hope that no leprechauns will come and pinch you today. Okay, one, two, three, four, five lucky green shamrocks. 
I'm going to take them back off my board, take away one, there's four, take away another one, there's one, two, three, take away another one, one, two, we're just counting backwards, take away another one, one, take away that one, zero, zero shamrocks. Uh-oh, I gotta get a drink of water. <coughs> Apparently there's something in the air with this March weather. That is making me wanna cough and making my nose drain. And oh my goodness, it's a good thing I took my mask off. I will put it back on later. Okay, shamrocks and leprechauns and all those other things that we've talked about are green. But I have some more things that are green. Do you know some green things? Maybe you've thought of some green things that I haven't even done yet. Let's see. I'm going to bring my green things over. Here's something that is green. Can you tell what it is? It's a tree. It's like a pine tree. This tree is green. Ooh, here's another shadow. Do you know what this is a shadow of? He's kind of... Being lazy. <gasps> yes, it's a turtle. This turtle is green. And can you tell me what this is a shadow of? It's a heart. Yes, this heart is green. Wait a minute. This heart is green? Is that heart green? The tree is green. The turtle is green. That heart is not green. That heart is what color? Red. It's a red heart. Well, let's see. I have this little baby dinosaur. Do you see the little baby dinosaur? This dinosaur is green. There he is. Oh, and then there are green apples. Have you ever had a green apple off a tree? The apple is green. I'm going to put it up here. And then there is this duck. It's a little rubber ducky. This duck is green. Hold on, this duck is not green. The tree is green, the turtle is green. I'm gonna move these guys up a little bit. Oops, stick to my fingers. The tree is green, the turtle is green, the dinosaur is green, the apple is green, the heart is not green. The rubber duck is not green. What color is rubber duck? <laughs> yes, he's a yellow rubber duck. Oh not green. Well, what about this shape? Do you know what this shadow makes? If I had a string on there, it's a balloon. This balloon is green. Oh, look at, <laughs> we have a little caterpillar. This caterpillar is green. And then I have this cat. This cat is green. Is that cat green? Take a look at that cat. Is it green like the tree? No. Is it green like the turtle? No. Is it green like the balloon? No. <coughs> Is it green like the baby dinosaur? No. Is it green like the apple? No. Is it green like the caterpillar? No. Is it red like the heart? No. Is it yellow like the rubber duck? No, it's not green. What color is my cat? <laughs> yes, it's a black cat. My cat is black. It's not green. Maybe you can think of some other green things we know. We have green shamrocks. Let's see. Can I think of anything else that's green? You know what? Off the, off the top of my head, I really can. Oh, yes, I can. Green grapes. Have you ever eaten any green grapes? Ooh. Those would be fun to have for a green snack today. Well, let me see. Today is all about green for St. Patrick's Day. And I wanted to show you that there are, ooh, there's a message up here. Let me see if I can read it. Elizabeth and, oh, just says Elizabeth is watching. Hello. Bring them on camera. What am I not bringing on camera? Anyway, messages. 
we have some books about green here at the library that maybe you'd like to read. And of course, one more time, I'm going to bring out Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. Have you ever tried green eggs and ham? That might be a fun snack to have today, so you could have something green. There's also this little book, Five Green and Speckled Frogs Sitting on a Speckled Log Eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. I forgot about frogs being green. Yeah, we have green frogs. Let's see. This story by Keith Baker is called Little Green. And can I get it up there? Can you see what is green on the cover? It's a little hummingbird. The hummingbird is green. Oh, one of my very favorites. And I thought about doing this one as a flannel board today, but I didn't. Go Away, Big Green Monster by Ed Emberley. Oh, this is such a fun book if you have never read it. Whoa, look at those circles, those eyes that make a big green monster. Would you be afraid of a big green monster? Then I have this book that's all about the color green. Can you see what's on the cover? A lizard or an iguana, some kind of a reptile. He's green. And then there is, oh, this book about green. And I don't know, can you tell? It's a can full of green gummy worms. Ooh, yummy. I would eat green gummy worms, would you? And then this story. Ooh, it is a Caldecott Honor Award winner, and it's called Green. I didn't bring out any of the St. Patrick's Day books to show you because it is St. Patrick's Day today and a lot of those books are already checked out. So instead of bringing any of those books over to show you because they're gone, people are reading them, I put on your papers today that go on to YouTube because there is a fun, oops, next page. There's a fun one called, There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Clover. <gasps> Do you know there was an old lady who swallowed a fly? I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. Well, this one was, there was an old lady who swallowed a clover. It's fun to see what happens at the end of the book. What happens with all the things that she swallows? You can watch it on YouTube. And then there is how to catch a leprechaun. There were some great ideas on that YouTube read aloud that told you traps you could make to try to catch a leprechaun. And then there is the night before St. Patrick's Day. What do you think you would have to do on the night before St. Patrick's Day? Hopefully you're planning on some green things for St. Patrick's Day so you don't get any pinches. All right. Then on your sheets that are in your grab-and-go bag, I have this activity that says take a bucket, take a basket, take something, maybe a laundry basket. You and your child go around the house and see if you can find some things that are green and put them in the basket. It's a green scavenger hunt in the house. What are what kind of green things you'll come up with? Maybe you have some blocks that are green. Maybe you have some balls that are green. Maybe you have some toy cars that are green. See what kind of green things you can find. Fill a basket full of green things. And then when you have your basket full, you can play an I spy game. It could be your sensory bin and play an I spy game and say, find the green balloon. Maybe you have a green balloon in there. So you have to look in there. I spy a green balloon. I spy a green book. Maybe you have a green book in there. Play a little I spy game. All right. Now, in your grab and go bags, I was almost not going to do a grab and go bag today because I wasn't coming up with anything fun to do for green. That wasn't finger painting or painting or putting green tissue paper on something. It's all stuff we've been doing and doing and doing and I thought, oh, I don't want to do that again. I don't want to send green paint home. I don't want to send green pudding home. I don't want to do those kinds of things. I want something different. And then yesterday, I found it as I was looking on the internet. So in your bag, in your grab and go bag, there is the sheet with all the stuff on it. There's also an empty bottle, a little empty water bottle. What are you gonna do with an empty water bottle that's green? What I thought was really cool is the lid of the green, of the, <laughs> the lid of the bottle is green. We have a green lid. 
You are going to fill this empty bottle. You're going to make an eye spy bottle. Have you ever done an eye spy bottle? And to put in your eye spy bottle, I have split peas. I went to the grocery store and got some split peas. They're going to be your filler that you will put in your empty bag. And then I found some little things that would fit in that bottle to make your eye spy bottle. And I put those little green things in a baggie. You will put all of this in your bottle. I started mine. I'll show you. I have some split peas in there. Now, do you see one of the green things I put in there? It's a birthday candle. There's a green birthday candle in there. <gasps> and I don't know if you can see it. I think there's too much glare. But there's a little green pom-pom in there. And I also put in a green gem, but it went in upside down so you see the silver. There's a green butterfly in there. So what I did is I first I put my one green pom-pom in there. And then I put some of the split peas in. Then I put my candle and I put my butterfly gem in there. And now I'm going to put some more split green peas in there. <gasps> it covered them up. Do you see them? It covered them up. Well, now I'm going to add in your little baggie you have a green wiggle eye. So I don't need my funnel on there. I'm gonna put my little green wiggle eye in there. It's probably gonna turn upside down, but I won't see it. There it is. There's my little green wiggle eye. And then I have another gem, another green gem. Ugh. Sticking to my table. You will also have one of these in your little bag. It's a little flower. It's a little green flower. Let's see, will it fit in there? <gasps> yep. So now I have, ooh, and that one went in upside right. There's my little green gem in there. If I want to add more split peas to cover them up, I'll put my funnel on there. I tried to do it without a funnel and I just made a mess. Put some more split green peas on there. And then I had one more thing. I found these little crayon, Crayola, pencil erasers. Now there were only five green ones and I needed those to go in the green, sense in the bags for you. So I thought, that's okay, I can use this yellow one. It could be my gold from the Leprechaun. So I'm gonna put this in there. And now I've got all of my items in there. I'm gonna finish putting in my green peas. Are you empty bag? All the green peas are out of there. They're all in my bottle. Now comes the fun part. If you want to keep this forever and ever, you will want to put some hot glue around there and then put on your lid. You especially want to do that with little, with little children, with babies, because these are things that are choking hazards, and you don't want them to get them out and put them in their mouth and choke on them. So you will want to glue that shut, and I would even put some um, duct tape around there to keep it shut. But now I have an eye spy bottle. Do you see what's there? Oh, look, I spy the green wiggle eye. Here we go, I spy the green pom-pom. Now I know there's other green things in there. Oh. And there's also my gold. I spy my gold eraser top. There's something else in there, but if I turn it, you can look. Ooh, I spy my candle. There comes my candle. If I turn it around, those things will come up. And you have, oh, there's my gold. You have your very own green I spy bottle. I hope you'll stop in and pick up one of these grab and go bags because an ice spy bottle is a whole lot of fun and it's all about green. Guess what? It is time for us to sing our goodbye song. Our toddler story time is over today. So can you sing the goodbye song with me? I hope you've had fun with green and leprechauns and St. Patrick's Day and I hope you'll have a great St. Patrick's Day today. Remember, find something green.
I'm gonna put my green mask back on so you can see my green leprechaun or my green shamrocks all over. Put on some green, even if you have to just cut out a paper shamrock to put on, find some green so you don't get pinched today and have a lot of fun. Let's do, let's do our goodbye song. Here we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'll see you again.